Well, today we're going to be covering this story uh, for us and also Sand Sports Magazine. Uh, it's for an article I'm writing on cylinder sleeving. And we're going to be sticking a sleeve in this little Fiat block. We have a problem down inside the cylinder where it's all rusted out over here. We tried to hone this out and we got this one cylinder that just didn't want to clean up. So we're going to put a sleeve in there to save the block. Unfortunately, we can't find these blocks that easily anymore, so this is what we're going to do. We also see problems like this, where the top of the cylinder is cracked and uh, has to have a sleeve to save it. This is a Porsche 6 cylinder, so we're going to sleeve this as well. Occasionally, we'll have blocks come in that are completely worn out, and they have to have sleeves in all the cylinders. And as you can see in this old flathead, it has been completely resleeved back to standard. This is another common problem where the spring clip has come out of the piston and the wrist pin has come out and damaged the wall. First thing we'll need to do is bolt this down to the table and we've done that with a couple of clamps here and we want to make sure that the thing doesn't move around. Our next operation is to center the bore underneath the spindle and to do that we're going to use a special indicator for that purpose. By using our hand wheels we can guide this into a relatively center position here. As you can see we're right there. As long as this is within about thousands, thousands and a half you're good to go. Well, one of the first things we're going to have to do is measure our sleeve and write that number down. And then we're going to make our bore a little about one and a half to two thousandths smaller. We're going to use a half inch tool bit to set our Z beginning depth. I'm going to use a hook ruler to measure the sleeve length. And it looks like about 110 millimeters. We're going to measure the tip of our tool bit from the top of the block and then we can calculate how far we have to go down the cylinder to bore the block so the sleeve will have a slight little step at the bottom so it'll rest against that and then we can cut it to length. This is our controller and we're going to hit program and we're going to give this part a name. I'm going to call it 850. And then we need to go over here. We'll call it sleeve. end. We'll drop on down here. We're going to use a scale of 1 to 1. No dwell request, no auxiliary function request, no event comments, no multiple fixtures. We're going to use part geometry. Okay, now we're going to go to begin and this is where we're going to write the program. We're going to use a drilling cycle and we're going to press 1 for drill and our X is going to be 0, our Y is going to be 0, our Z rapid is going to be minus 10, our Z end is going to be 107, no chip breaks, RPM about 480 RPM, our Z feed rate is going to be 25, oops, sorry, 75 millimeters per inch and tool number one. And that's our simple program right there. I have my tool cutter set for the first 50 thousandths cut and now we're ready to start that. We've set our tool table here for a 66.5 bore and we're calling it a boring bar. This is our tool path. Just down and up. We're going to set a reference position at zero right here. Our limits are off. Our fixture offset. Now we need to input some data here. It says uh, input fixture 1 to 2. We always use number 1. Abset 1. Abset 1. Abset. And that's it. 
Okay, looks good. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to go into run. And we can do a trial run. It says press go when ready. Okay, that's it. Okay, now we're ready to run this event. So we're going to hit run. Go. Turn the machine on. And that's the end of our first cut. Well, we're ready to make our second cut. And now we'll measure and see how much we've got left to go. Well, from the looks of it, we've got about uh, 10 thousandths to go. And that should put us just right. All right, this is our last cut.
sleeving can be done on just about any engine. And depending on its rarity and how hard it is to find another block, it's a viable option. And when you sleeve the engine back to standard, you do all four, six, eight, however many cylinders you got. The material that's in the sleeve is actually slightly better than what's in the block. So it's really a great repair. Alright, well we're ready to pound our sleeve in. That's it. Now all we've got to do is cut the rest off. All right, we're going to cut our sleeve off. We'll leave this stick above the cylinder just a tiny little bit so that we can resurface the block now. Well, we have the fly cutter installed. And I've written a short little program to uh, mill the head, and now that's what we're going to do. We're going to start by taking the sleeve down and taking 0.1 millimeters off the top of the block or off the sleeve actually. Alright, we're going to stop there. Taking another tenth off.
that's it. Well, quick trip to the home, and uh, this block will be all finished up. But this is how you install a sleeve in a cylinder block. If you have questions, give me a call here at Costa Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.